So this is a quick video on IBP Basic, specifically the web front end, although 80% of your work will probably be done on the Excel spread front end. Some users may just um, stick to the the web browser interface. Um, I'll go through it really quickly. First of all, you can see that on the main screen after you log on, you'll see your dashboard, um, which can be assigned by user or role group, and you can, um, it's pretty typical of most um, web-based uh, dashboards now as far as the ability to filter over um, various items to actually get the values that you need. Uh, if you actually wanted to make a chart or if you had security to do such, you have a list of all these charts that are available and you can create a new chart. Um, again, pretty simple. Select your plane area, key figures, and what uh, levels you want to group by. There's actually quite a few um, graphs out there. Uh, most are pretty typical for Excel, except I will point out some that are probably in, not in Excel. For example, there's a geo pie graph that will, or be a bubble graph that will take uh, latitude and longitude data to actually plot things on a world map. There will be a heat map, which is similar to things you'd find on a, Fide on a uh, financial site like Fidelity or Vanguard, where it has uh, green, yellow, red kind of boxes. Um, but that's pretty much it for um, graphs. Probably the only other thing would be a product network, which would be um, the ability to kind of see where a product is coming from a supplier, made it a manufacturer, DC to a customer, etc. Um, the other functionality on here is the change history. Um, we don't have anything in installed for this particular playing area, so it's not showing anything, but if you wanted to see who changed what and where when, um, that's where you would do it. Uh, you also have an entire section that we need to spend on just custom alerts, where you can define certain alerts. Um, this is kind of like the trigger that gets you to do things. I don't think people spontaneously go into Excel, Excel to figure out what's going on, so you need that first trigger. And so here you can subscribe to various alerts that tell you, oh, I, you know, the projected inventory in this case, for example, exceeded a certain threshold. So I I need to see what that is. Um, pretty much everything else from this point on um, with, well, there's one more with the cases. Um, once you have something like this, like a projected inventory over a certain threshold, you can open up a case and then assign tasks to people to actually manage that and link all the information together. Um, and then finally, the last four icons are pretty much IT related. So security, uh, user and role management, the um, loading of data as a flat file, and then any configuration and exporting the, the model or importing the data model. Um, those are more IT focused, but that's essentially all the functionality that you have on the um, uh, IBP side.